Welcome back to Maine Tiny Homestead. I know I might look silly with my two bandanas on here, but it's really humid here and there's a lot of mosquitoes and I can't get anything done with those nets on. I can't see that good. So here we are. Today we're gonna be harvesting some lemon balm and um, I'm gonna show you how I do that. Come along. Lemon balm can give you two or three harvests during the season. So this is probably, I don't know, two feet tall right now. I'm going to cut it down to about three to four inches. And then we'll let it grow back. So I'm going to get, this looks like a foot and a half. So I'll get stalks that'll be about this big. And then I'm going to put these on the dehydrator. You could also just hang dry any kind of leaves like this. It's real humid. It's been raining for <laughs> longer than I want to say, but almost, you know, we're into the second month of hardly any sun and it's really just humid and rainy. So air drying these is probably going to take too long and um, it's not as beneficial if it was a dry space to air dry. Um, so I'm going to use the, the dehydrator for these today. But let me keep on cutting here. So you can take every stalk. And what I'm doing is I'm going to, if I was going to do the trimming, it would be in between right here. You have the two leaves that are formed, and then you're going to come and cut it right there. So that once it's cut, the little tiny leaves that are in between that you leave will start growing again. So we've cut back this bush now, and I wanted to show you if you can see the distance between the set of leaves. Now I'm finding this with all my plants this year, not just lemon balm, and it's really because of all the rain. The plants have been yearning for sun, and there hasn't been any. So they're tall and leggy. My tomatoes got like that. Um, my uh, no, that's quite not like that. I was thinking about my um, my mint, but that's really slow to grow because it just hasn't been enough sun here. So these don't look as awesome as they did last year. Um, the leaves are a lot smaller this year and um, there's not as many. And that's really just due to the weather conditions that we've had. Now, if we were going to dry these, hang them dry, I would want to make a bundle of them. And this is probably enough to make two or three smaller bundles. So this would be a good size bundle, like if you were going to hang it in a closet or um, anywhere, really, where you have space and it's dry and you have some air circulation. So what I would do is I would get all of these stems to line up. The leaves don't matter, it's all the stems, because that's where you're going to tie it. So you can just get it like that, right? And then you have your, your leaf bundle. And then just use an elastic, a rubber band or something, and get it one part tighter than you think you need it, because these stalks are going to shrink as they dry. And then that's all you need to do. Um, just go ahead and dry it. Um, laundry room's a good spot. Um, sheds that have um, a little bit of airflow, not too stuffy in there. Um, anything like that would be good. But like I said, I'm going to be dehydrating them um, because it's just too humid for me here to get that done. So here's the finished plant after the haircut. And you can see I left, still left a lot of greenery on there. I left three or four stems a little bit longer. And most of them are cut down to the second or third set of leaves. Now it's a little bit taller than I would have done it if these leaves were spaced closer. But like I said, the leaf spacing is really wide and far apart this year. So 
I'm going up three sets of leaves before I trim them because um, it's a lot taller than I thought I was going to have it. It's not just a few inches. It's like, I don't know, six to seven inches is the height we're at right now. And as always, thanks for watching Maine Tiny Homestead.